Hey, what's up guys? Sharp Tony here, and you're probably not going to recognize the tune I'm on. I'm on my 220 Nano Technician on test. Why am I on test? Because I want to share with you guys the changes that have been going on. So welcome to this week's Slaughter Saturday on test, where it is slaughter or be slaughtered on test. So that's pretty much all I have to say to that one. It is a little bit different than before. Uh, there are the changes are kind of odd, but they're kind of cool at the same time. So, as you see here, Nullity Sphere now checks to um, damage to nano, damage to nano multiplier, and it's just a lot of weird stuff. So, um, let's give this a try. The first duel is going to be against a 220 nano mage fixer named Midas. I believe self-illumination is crappy now, although I don't remember. Crap, that took forever. I have to NS already? Dang. Okay, that's not what I expected to happen. Expected this to go much differently. Um, without NS2 up, it was weird, but fixer duels seem to be similarly, uh, they seem to be pretty much the same. But that was pretty close, so good duel, thank you. One thing I do want to say about that last duel is looking through the combat log, def um, Deflect literally did nothing for me. I just countered his nanos, which I should have, but Deflect did nothing for me. So maybe it's not as OP as we think, but let's find out. So now I'm going to duel a 220 Enforcer. As you know, their rage no longer gives them initiatives. They don't, they can't use Challenger and Imongo anymore, and they also, I mean Challenger and... Um, the big HP buffs, and there's my phone, and because those no longer stack, and Mongo no li longer gives a hot, so this might be a little different, although they do also get a stun, and if you look here, I could see his um, NCU, which is different, but interesting, I suppose. So let's get the film focus going, and let's get SI on him, although I hear a lot of people say don't bother with SI anymore. Stun too strong. Oh my gosh. So enforcers, as you see here, deflect didn't do anything. Everything still hit and capped normally. So enforcers are still freaking crazy. And that charge might be a little OP. I'm not sure yet. We're going to have to find out. But good duel. Alright guys, so now I'm on my 220 doctor and I'm going to duel 220 enforcer. Obviously the changes for... Where the frick's UBT? The changes that we've seen thus far aren't big changes that I think are going to affect how nanotechnician duels. I think they're pretty much going to be the same. And holy crap, this is going to be difficult, isn't it? I heard landing stuff on enforcers was going to be hard, but I didn't think it was going to be this hard. And I healed just at the right time because now he hit me with charge. And now I'm just going to BI because I don't want to waste... CH yet because I know that works differently now so you have to be really careful with how you use it um, let's see here as you see here UBT is not even UBT is about to be done on him which is a problem but I think if I could outlive his alpha it's going to be more of the same I, although I just missed aim shot so there you go and malpractice can no longer work if the target has um, any any dot at all running on them, which he didn't. Now he does. This is going to be really tough. And enforcers, what they're doing now, from what I'm seeing from these few changes, is that they're using ooh those crits. They're freaking using 
Mongo rage to heal themselves. And people really want to duel me for some reason. I don't know why. That was a good time to waste CH. I needed it there. ICH only has a 20 second lockout, which I think is relatively fine. And I don't know why I just went to use close call. He doesn't have any dots running. Don't understand that. It's so hard to hit him with anything. His NR is through the roof. I've dueled 220 enforcers before and not had anywhere near this problem. This is just silly. This is like really silly. I can't. I got UBT on him. That is it so far. Neutrogenic Pestilence, I guarantee you, will not land. Oh, wow. Well, I should. Good thing I'm not a betting man. And I have this doctor set up so that the nano doesn't really go away. <laughs> I could, I got nano for days. Rage will wipe out, freaking. I don't know. I'm I'm really confused as to how doctors are gonna handle enforcers end game now because this isn't going to be easy at any point. Because I have a really hard time hitting him with most things. And when he hits me with charge, I'm pretty much effed in the A. Ah. Sucks, but good duel. I can't, as you saw there, his NR is now through the roof. But we'll continue about this. So I'm going to stay on my doctor to duel a... Why do I have the... Oh, right, for when I get debuffed. I'm going to stay on my doctor to duel a 220 fixer. And then I'm going to get away from 220 because I think... You guys kind of get the feel for how this is working. Why do you cast BI before the duel so I don't get alpha? Big HP is awesome. Um, I normally don't go in any sort of defensive setup. Holy crap. <laughs> so people want to say fixers... We're go this is going to be fixer online. It is indeed going to be fixer online. I got full auto and aim shot capped on me with about a thousand deflect actually I'm gonna try again and keep in mind these duels aren't to prove that I'm good or bad or whatever I'm probably gonna lose most of them I'm doing this as a test to see what's going to happen so doctors everybody knew was going to get a pretty bad nerf and it seems to have definitely been what happened doctors are nerfed really hard But I did live through that alpha, it seems, and I still had perks left to go. So, hopefully now I could land something in terms of, like, nano on him. But it's not looking good for me. Holy crap, I can't land a dang thing on him. But I will BI because I have to. And let's try this new sophisticated viral agent, which was a new dot that was put in as a replacement. Right, fixers could wipe that, I completely forgot. Hmm. I think the way doctors can have to beat fixers now is with just aimed shot. They have that wake up call thing. Completely, completely forgot about that. So what if I go... Oh, target must must have a dot running. I thought it was must not have a dot running. Stupid on my part. So I think this has the lowest NR check, so we'll go with that one. We are lasting a bit longer this time, so I'm kind of figuring things out as we go. And Mutagenic Pestilence did land, so let's go to Malp. Malp him up. Malk him in the middle. But Malp is not landing. Mutagenic Pestilence is about to wear out, and Malp did not land once. And I probably should have went for a heal here, but... Gotta play it aggressive. Yeah, there goes Mutagenic Pestilence. Eh. Probably would have been the better idea to CH there, but... Oh well, and this Doctor is not a high HP Doctor. 
this duel is more like something you'd be used to seeing on, on the channel. So, if you see here, I'm not deflecting anything at all. Like, not a dang thing. Which is kind of surprising. I thought deflect would kind of be a little more OP. What I'm finding from these duels is that it's really not a difference maker. There we go. Maybe for these lower level tunes that, you know, can't live through anything, it will help out. It might spur lower level PvP, but for endgame PvP, from what I've seen so far and from what you guys have seen, it doesn't really do much. I think this is just going to come down to me screwing something up. Because my um, thing is ready in one minute, so I could start absorbing again. An absorbent amount of absorbs. Get it? That was a that was a double entendre. The crits seem to be a lot lower though, and I haven't gone for any specials in a while because I'm focusing on talking. <laughs> like I said, it's not really something that I'm doing to be competitive. It's something I'm doing to show you guys, and so we could. I want you guys to see this and then come on the test server and help test this stuff out. We need testers. We need people that are willing and able to put some time in and see what's OP, what works, what doesn't work. What professions are just going to run PvP? Which ones are going to get run out of PvP? It looks like Metaphysicist did get a little love because now the Shield of Zet, the one that adds 910 AAD but no longer reflects, is dual wieldable. Ah, there we go. That's the end of it. But hey, thanks. So now, 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 I've moved down to my 150 adventurer, who's a ranged adventurer, and I'm fighting a 150 bureaucrat. One of the big changes I want to note is that. We no longer get those, uh, like, Howl of the Wolf and all those other buffs that would run while we're in another form. We now get, um, we still get the Feline Rage and all that stuff. We and When you're a wolf, you get Hide of the Fox, which for 14 seconds adds uh, 300 at all death. And Make Pains, which adds 100 crit increase for 12 seconds. But either way, let's, um, let's give this a go. I am an Aatrox, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I missed most of what I started with, but I actually got the Alpha off. So that is pretty, pretty intense, so thanks for that duel. And the way Deflect works as of right now, um, you guys might want to keep this around. You need 4,000 Deflect in order to get the 15% cap. You have a base of 5% deflect, and then for every 400 points, you get one more percent of deflect. So that's why we haven't seen any deflections going on. It's a very low chance somebody's going to deflect something. Just something to bear in mind. Still on my 150 adventure, just testing some more things out in this at all depth situation. I'm dueling a 168 nanotechnician. So this gives us an idea. We've seen a nanotechnician at 220. Now let's see one at these lower levels. Just keep on top of the healing. Holy crap. I am indeed going to Invocation of the Phoenix. <laughs> yes! Yeah, this is not working out well. <laughs> I guess they, the nanotechnicians at lower levels have gotten some damage buffs, so they're doing quite a bit better. I'm going to go to my Enforcer. Now I'm going to move over to my Enforcer, and as you see, Rage sets you on fire now. And it lasts for 5 minutes, and here's the modifiers. 800 nano resist, and all that incredible freaking heal reactivity, negativity. And it no longer dots you no matter where you are. I'm dueling a 168, the same nanotechnician, but I wanted you to see an enforcer from this side instead. So hopefully this will give you a different view of the enforcer. Right, I can't use that because it's not equipped. 
from what I've heard from people talking, Enforcer is pretty OP now. But I have yet to see it. Crap, right, I don't have to rage. Keep forgetting that. So I'm just gonna spam and hope that my sneak attack hits him for enough. It does not. That should be the end. I wanna try one more. I am gonna try again. I figured all that NR would just be make a huge difference. And I'm still I still aim on bringing this enforcer to life. Just because I do like him that much. So expect him at some point. I think he'll do a great job when he gets to live. Uh, I countered Visions of the Void. Um, now I can't cast my Absorbs. That was going to be what I figured would be the difference maker. Obviously, I was probably wrong. Sharp, why do you click? If my hand's already there, why not click? Ladies and gentlemen, why not freaking click? I get flamed so hard sometimes for clicking, and there we go. So I just needed to do things a little bit differently. So good duel. Alright, so what I think is going to be the last duel of the day... I just lost this one before because I wasn't in full ag and I figured that wasn't even worth posting because it doesn't show what I'm looking to show here. Um, let's see. Um, Doctor Dueling, a 220 Metaphysicist, that's their biggest change and they could cast a few different things now. Um, so, looking at everything, I've, dueled, I've seen Fixers Dueling pretty much all day. And many of them seem to be really... Oh, gosh. Yeah, it's going to be really hard to hit through that NR. Because now I can't heal with... This pretty much goes how 150 PvP would go. As it, as it always has gone. He's trying to NSD me, which I don't think will land. And I probably should have tried to UBT his Rywin, which is going to be my next step. I can't even UBT. Oh my gosh, it landed. Holy crap, stick. Frickin' punching bag. Not calling myself a punching bag, I'm saying the punching bag was in the way. I guess I could kind of, like, wear him down a little bit, but it's still really hard to do anything. All that add all def is really making... Normally a 220 metaphysicist would have died a long time ago. But as you see, he's still alive and well. So instead of trying to focus on what I, can cast, what I can't cast on him, let's try and focus to what I can cast on him. Which, unfortunately, is not much. Because if you guys did not know, add all def also is added to all defensive roles. So that obviously includes... What's it called? NR. I gotta outlast this nano shutdown. And I will not, so good duel. See, 220 metaphysicists are good now. I can't believe I've lost every duel with this doctor who I never lost a duel with before. And I guess their NR isn't that good, because as you see here, I just beat him and stayed at full health. I guess I just screwed up last time. Um, so, yeah, I guess that works. One more thing I want to say is... Um, nano... <sighs> metaphysicists with these two shields do really well, and sacrificial shielding now instead of giving blockers... Bang Bang makes it so the pet takes damage. They become like the target and the nanotech or the metaphysicist. Holy F word. What the freaking fork? They only take one damage. And I'm going to keep testing here. And I hope you guys come and test this out too. Bang Bang, want to shout out to Trox. Want to shout out to Conquer. Want to shout out to Enforcer Black. Want to shout out to Metafly. 
Want to shout out to Nano. Want to shout out to everybody that was here today. Thank you guys so much for being about that action, being about that bang bang. We can't play no games. We got to test this out. So I invite every single one of you to come test this out with us. And thank you so much. So uh, come, come chill with us and come game on test and test everything out. Okay, thanks. Peace. Bye.